So that was all the dynamite? Well, funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. You're done. So I proceeded onward and realized that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long, burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. Run! Of course, I had to trade. So damn quick. I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no. I thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. 
I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. That is a... Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded.
down. And that's when I met Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. as he was. I was just a bit faster. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. <laughs> Those were his last words. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kinda glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. confronted them as they were robbing a train. Bullets were flying at me from every which way. But I knew I'd have to fight my way forward if I was going to find this gym. Shoot that stupid son of a bitch! Blow your damn head off! I'll move this man to this twice as time! 